Welcome to Loungering, the MTG edition. You see this little reflective, whatever that is. This is a five pack of play mat top loaders. Okay. Got tubes out there. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to boo boo. I'm dealing with a bigger product than I'm used to. Alright. See me with, uh, you know, the top loaders are the tubes. Put them in. People use these too. Um,. There's a bunch of different ones, but if you actually want to look at your play mats, you've seen these in your local G local game stores. I bought two five packs to show because I want to see my art. I want to see it, so I figured I'd open one of these for you guys. I'm gonna get out of the open them up and let you see. These are brand new. Like I said, I bought two packs of these, so I got ten of these top loaders. I'll end up getting more, too. I ended up paying 25 bucks a piece. So, that's five bucks a top loader. As you see, it's one big clear one. This fits right over top of this one with some room. I am going to put this one I got from Magic Fest <clears throat> at home Magic Fest in a box. Put this in here, demonstrate. Now I've never done this before. So I'm just gonna open that up. See how it's done. Get it going. Try to be easy with it. And they give you some flexibility. I guess we're going to have to get it once we get it in there. You use smooth side down. Wow. Now, if there's another way of doing these that makes it easier, well, please leave it in the comments because you see I'm going to be struggling here. All right. Uh, be careful with that tip. That corner, I mean. There we go. All right. Now, I'm going to flip this over. Try to slide this down here. It's kind of hard to try to keep this in frame. It's not going to be nice. It's not in frame. Just the way my camera setup is. But so you can reach down in there. There's room. Like I said, I'm sliding the bottom in. I'm using the unrubber, the play mat side. All right. So we got that in there. And now we have the play mat because it's in the top layer. You're going to see the reflection. But we have it now safe and secure. And kind of, it's kind of hard to show because I don't have a top. I got my play mat in view. So, But that is, I went out and got these so I can keep these nice. And then I can look at them and see what I got. Um, and enjoy them that one went in kind of easy for five dollars it's a nice way to display uh, or store and display your play mats um, probably not the best way because the tubes you could probably put more but these are thin I mean they're top loader there's th a little bit thinner, thicker than a, a little bit thicker than a play mat so you hold it but so you can store these you can store them flat you can store them like a display that you see at the local game store but these are nice like I said I got a five pack of them for 25 bucks so um, as you if you've been watching the channel I've been accumulating some play mats I got some other play mats that are in tubes I want to um, display them uh, I got both of them they had only had two of these I would have bought two more no I wouldn't have because I didn't have the money that's right I only had they did have more but anyways that is the play mat top loaders it's a cheaper alternative than the tubes but I think it's a it depends on your space but I like this one um, because you can see what play mat you have and not have to open, unroll, re-roll. This keeps them nice and flat. 
Um, the only problem is I'd see is maybe storing them in the open end, get dusty. I don't know if I could find a solution for that. Maybe a little bit of, um, I don't know. I guess you could put a little bit of, uh, tape on there. That's going to be, uh, that doesn't leave the residue there so that you can, um, pull them off and still reuse them. Um. I don't know if this would be a better shipping option than rolling it in a tube. I doubt it, because tube and a big thing like this, no, it definitely wouldn't be a better shipping option. But it, it's a storage option, and I like the storage option because I can see the play mat. So I just wanted to show you what the top loader play mat, play mat top loaders are. I got them. I always like to do the little reviews of what I get. Now, you've seen these. I like them. Now, I could say, put a little sticker up in the top corner here saying how much I paid for it. Maybe when I got it. You know what I mean? Or, you know, I could say, hey, you know, I could do a post it or a little thing and say, you know, people are. I like statistics. Hey, this is a winning playmat. I win when I play this playmat. How many wins and losses I've had playing with this playmat. I mean, some people have bad luck objects. Some people have good luck objects. If you have a good luck playmat, you know, and you want to store it, you know, you can list that all here. You know, you can file these away. You know, uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard how you would stop file these. You can lay them flat. Um... I don't know. It's a storage option, and I just wanted to show it. So, like I said, this is the play mat from the. Uh, you can see my lighting here. Sorry, I have I have lighting issues, where I just got cheap light. Anyways, you can see it's a good option. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Please like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment. See, I was asking earlier about the way to do it, but I think I found a good way of sliding these in. That's a nice way. Now that's nice and stored flat. Um, sharing is caring. Uh, have a great day, and stay safe out there. A little snippet I'm going to add to this end of the video as I was going through my packs. I bought this one. I don't know if you can see it. There. See, it's cracked. Now, I bought it like this, and I did buy these from a local game store. Uh, I The first time I ever dealt with them, so, um, you know, uh, I don't know if I would, what am I going to say? I mean, it's kind of a, hey, you did this while you were probably loading it or whatnot. See, I'm just trying to, once they're in there, you can kind of tap them into place. Uh, that, was that sound. See, I've been pushing. So, um, be careful buying plastics. So you can see, well, see I can't, you can't see there's. Be careful when you buy plastics. This one has this crack there. Um, I didn't notice it when I bought it. It was in that plastic, you know. So, um, does it really do anything? No, not really. I just got to be careful that I don't snag it. But since it's on the back rubber side, um, I guess just a little piece of scotch tape, you know, would just bring me to that. Um, so these are going to be kind of brittle. You want to be careful of that. And if you start looking in this side, I just noticed this one too. I guess this was on the end one. See, it's been stressed. You can see the whiting, white stress marks on this one so it was pinched maybe in shipping this isn't really their fault i would say um because these are just going to be sitting on the um these are sitting exactly where they were displaying their play mat so i just like i said i just wanted to show that that these when you're loading them in be careful i mean i got fat hands so you know what i mean i'm coming from the middle and working out which gives me the most play I mean, you can see I can really get in there and do that. So, I just wanted to add that one while I was doing this. So, uh, just a warning when you're buying these. When you're buying these. 
look at the packaging and make sure that they're not cracked now I have another pack I'm gonna check and see if it was cracked and but I doubt it if it is then well I guess it's buyer beware so anywho just wanted to say that that is the top the play mat top loaders that was the five pack and one out of five was cracked so hey one out of five ain't bad okay have a good day stay safe out there